Alrighty guys, welcome back to Ten in the Pit. This is the first time you found us. You have found that little uh, dark corner of the YouTube universe that is unstaffed, unsponsored. Um, so we can be blunt, we can be honest. And for the most part, our top fives is um, something that we have all thrown or has um, experience with it, seeing it down lane or throwing it ourselves. Not many channels can say that. We're not trapped in one brand. Right. Not a lot of channels can say that. Correct. So, what we're going to do today, we are going to do the top five asymmetrical hybrids of 2024 so far. Start of league is coming. A lot of guys are curious on what to buy right before league. That's the only reason we're doing it right now. And then at the end of the year, we're going to see if our, yeah, we'll see if our top five still have uh, a place now than they do at the end of the year. I doubt they will, but... We'll see. All right, so, Mr. Adams, you want to start with a couple of, oh, actually, all of my staff members, except for Joey again, he's on vacation or something. I don't know, or his phone's broke. I don't know. But uh, we all voted for our own top five, one through five. One ball being the one that you're going to run out and go buy if league started tomorrow. And, that, and that's the concept. So our number one pick is literally the one ball we're going to go buy. And then we sum it all up into a master list. We put all of our votes together to make a universal across the channel master list top five. Sound right? Yep. Start us off. All right. First, we're going to start with James. <clears throat> Why am I always first? Because that's how we work out. OK. Uh, his number five was the Atlas Hybrid. I just got that. Very good ball. Number four, Max Bias. Very strong ball. For a hybrid, it's stupid strong. Very strong. Um, there's a reason why they call it Max Bias. <laughs> so, number three, Archetype Hybrid. Phenomenal ball. Good ball, good looking ball. Definitely a good follow up to the original. Coming in at number two on James's list is the Ion Pro. I really like my Ion Pro. I like the way I can manipulate it. Uh huh. And number one, Moda Fanboy. The Motive Liberty. The Motive Pride Liberty. I think the Pride Liberty is a little bit more manipulable than the Ion, so that's why it got ranked a little bit higher than on my list. Okay. Okay. We'll see if the Ion even makes yours. Uh, next, we'll do Early's list. His number five was the Ultimate Defender. Decent ball. It, uh, yeah. yeah. I had that ball. I did like that ball. Decent ball. Number four, Deviate Hater. I was not a fan of BB and Hater. Didn't even have good shelf appeal. Um, had a very strong core to it though. Number three, early's list, I am pro. That surprised me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Number two, Mode of Pride Liberty. That and surprised me too. His number one is obviously the Max Bias. Yeah, he ranked that at number five. If you didn't watch that review, he ranked that at number five. He went hard on that one. Yeah. So, those are those two. James is going to come up here and mention the other two people. So, Aaron, number five. Once again, not a fan of this ball, but he went hater from DB8. Number four, Max Bias. Very strong. I mean, the finish on the Max Bias was even stupid strong oh, on the yeah. box. Um, number three, which I totally agree with this placement here, Archetype Hybrid. Uh, number two, the Ion Pro. For Aaron, that's pretty high on the list for an SBI ball. Number one, I'm kind of surprised about this too. Yeah. Pride Liberty, but then again, Pride Liberty looks really good for a lot of people. So, Mr. Kool-Aid's list. Number five, Ultimate Defender. Decent ball. I think it's better than the um, the Hater. I will give it that. Um, so. Quinn went way off script here. He's the only one to really put number four with the Emerge. Yeah. 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 Emerge hybrid, number four. Uh, Archetype hybrid, number three. Atlas hybrid with number two, which I think the Atlas hybrid's really good. I just don't think it's that good. Um, and number one, he had it. He even gave his review. He wasn't completely sold on it. But he still put it at number one. That motive, pride, liberty. 
So, our master list, top five, 2024, so far, asymmetrical hybrid, you're looking at number five, Quentin? Do you remember? No. So, uh, Atlas Hybrid. Number four would be the Max Bias. Number three? Archetype Hybrid. Number two? I am pro. And number one? At Pride Liberty. So once again, even though we are looking at all 11 brands, we are looking across three major companies that produce the 11 brands. You got the Brunswick 7, you got the Storm 3, that's how I word them. I don't right. know if that's politically correct or not, but oh, wow. Brunswick 7, Storm 3, and you got Motive all by itself. Um, and we have the Motive Pride Liberty at number one. All good bowling balls. I agree. All five of these bowling balls, you would not be disappointed if you ran out and went and bought. Um, the Atlas, the Max, the Archetype, the Ion, and the Pride, they all fall in a little bit different categories, yeah. but what we ranked them on was playability and success with them. Yeah. So, we appreciate you guys for coming by and checking out our top five. Hopefully it um, at least allows you to get a list together to at least go look at to finish out some of those little hybrid spots in your arsenal to start the league with. And we'll be back at the end of the year to see if we're even close. If this were last year, I'd have the Magic Gem on there. I was going to say the Magic Gem was... That was a really good ball. Really good ball. I agree. That came out, what, November of 23 or something yeah. like that? Yeah. All so, right, guys. We appreciate y'all. I'll drop, let Quentin close this out. Okay. Drop your favorite comment below on, you know, what hybrid do you throw? Asymmetrical, anyway. Uh, we'll have a symmetrical coming in a couple days. So, comment below what's your favorite hybrid of this year or ever? Black Widow 2.0. Oh, we have a 3.0 coming. Oh, I... you get the disappoint again. Yeah, right. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that post notification bell, and we'll see you guys next time.